We Ooh. are back on the zoo with the only on-screen cop that will make your screen melt, Mr. Nicholas Gonzalez from hey. Paper Rain. Welcome, yeah. sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And by the way, he came matching like all our guests <laughs> apparently are doing, you know, the black and white thing. Black. We're you got the memo. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Said, don't wear black. Exactly. So I wear don't, black. Okay. Well, right. there you go. Okay. You know what to do. One, two, three. <laughs> wow. I will okay. slow down. <laughs> So tell us about Pray for Rain. What's it about? First of all, this place is a zoo. It is. It is. Right? An, this is and an we're an animals. Absolute zoo. Yeah. We're animals. <laughs> and yeah. this is nothing, Nicolás. Tú espérate tantito porque mira. Oh yeah, it can get crazier, honey. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about your role in Pray for Rain. Uh, well, Pray for Rain, I play Sheriff Nico. He's an old friend of the lead played by Annabelle Stevenson, mm -hmm. who's an awesome Aussie actress who just runs away with this film. And it's a, it's a movie with a message. You know, we, okay. we grew up as, as two, two friends growing up in the Central Valley. She left to become a journalist in New York. Didn't quite live up to her dreams yet, but is, has come back home when her father died under suspicious circumstances. Uh -oh. And mm. the investigative reporter in her has peaked, and mm. her old friend comes to help her figure it out. Are and you a dirty cop in this movie? I, I am not. I'm okay, not. Okay, just making sure. I'm not, not a dirty cop. He's definitely a good guy. I mean, but this it's a movie with a message. You know, there's okay. a there's a big drought going on. Yeah. Even after all the legend, I mean, the legendary rains we had, but the you know the right. record breaking rains that right. we've had, there's still areas in the yeah. southern Central Valley that are 10 million acre feet below oh my you know, levels. And, right. and it's going to take decades for them to uh, be back. So we're dealing with you know, a dust bowl there. We're dealing with a lot of uh, fight over water rights. It's a, it's a movie with a serious message, but done in a really fun way. You when, know, uh, one, th one thing that I notice about the roles that you get now, you're, you're playing a lot of good guys. Do you think that casting directors, maybe in the beginning when you were first going off for roles, you, you were like, oh, he's Latino, he's, he's you know, Chicano. Let's start you know, casting him off with the gangsters. And all. But now they realize you're a good guy. You need to be playing the good characters. <laughs> Am I right? Is that what's happened? You know, I don't even know if there's that much thought put okay. into it, to be honest. I mean, you know, I'm the, the, roles, the roles in some ways get better. In some ways, it's, you know, we're seeing a lot of the same. There's a Latin boom, but, you know, there was a Latin boom when I got here in 1998. Right. Mm -hmm. 1998, so it's, been, so it's, it's been gonna been be booming almost 10 years. <laughs> no. No, so no you're, cierto, 20 years. You did it. I'm sorry, I'm Did very you bad teach math? math? No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I was a lit major, don't worry. Don't worry. I don't think it's all the right. Disculpame, quise decir 19 años. I know what años. she meant. 19, actually, not even 20 yet. Yeah. So. When I found out the plot... That's right, 19 is not even 20 yet. <laughs> Exactamente. It's so almost then. there, but not quite. No. It's not quite, you know, it can't get into clubs. Right. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Wait, so when I, when I found out the plot for this film, I thought, oh my goodness, is Paul Rodriguez involved in this film? And then, lo and behold, I look at the credits, and he yes. is in it. it. Was it something done on purpose? Because he talks a lot about, like, farm workers' rights and exactly. the whole and, drug and movement. Exactly. And I, I didn't know that prior to this film, um, but he actually had bought a, I think, a, a working farm for his mother. And wow. where they were dealing with problems with water rights. So it's something that was very near and dear to him. Okay. And if you know anything about um, acting with... Uh, comedians also are just such incredible dramatic actors. And Paul, I mean, when you look back at everything from like the days of Quicksilver right. to all the different movies he's done along the way, and it's, he's just heartbreaking to watch. And what about you? Role, Do you have a preference between drama disappoint. and comedy? Or? I love comedy, but I, I end up doing a lot of drama. Yeah? yeah. Why do you think that is? Are you dramatic in life? I'm super dramatic. No, I think uh, more comedic in life, which is probably why I do drama. And I, I don't know. Comedians are very tragic behind the scenes. A lot of my friends are comedians, and they're the most tragic people I've ever met in my life. You grew up in Texas. I did, San Antonio. Did you grow up bilingually? Did they speak Spanish in your I, house? I did, um, but at the same time, my, uh, my mother, I guess the level of Spanish between my mother and father was very different, and he used to you know, make fun of her Spanish a bit, so she Who clammed up around us. Who was the poetry? Your mom? Um, I don't know. It's arguable because well, my family's been in Texas for like three generations. Oh my gosh, we didn't cross wow. the border. It kind of crossed us. Yeah. So. Okay. Hey. But you have you have a baby girl now. Congratulations. I do. Wow. She's stepping up gorgeous. to the plate. Yeah, beautiful. Do you, do you want to speak Spanish to her? Like, does your wife speak Spanish at all? She's or? she's learning. Uh, okay. She doesn't speak Spanish, but um, we we do want we do want to like we're teaching her sign as well. Okay. Oh, that's awesome. oh nice. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, Nick. So uh, what is it like now that you have the baby? Because like me, whenever I have to do research for the show. Where I have to learn lines. Like I disconnect from everything. Like I don't want to do anything. But now you have a baby. That's like you can't disconnect from the baby. Right. Right. You you can disconnect from baby. You actually. can. You How can do you leave, do it? But uh, I don't recommend it. No. Um, don't do that one, please. It, it's nice to get away when you have to work because just just simply needing to sleep, you know, is one you. thing. But um, she's a good girl. She yeah. sleeps through the night, and uh, we've been very blessed with. She's happy. We have a lot of fun. So there's not a lot of not a lot of drama when, in the baby's heart. And you've been married for a year now, right? Yes. Okay. Nice. 
So yeah. how's the married life? Are you? Is it super enjoyable? Is it fun? What I didn't realize is how different it would feel. I think uh -huh. that in this this day and age, so many people are used to living together mm -hmm. for several years before tying the knot, and I didn't think it would feel different, but. Um, it feels like we're in something together, you know, wow. we're headed somewhere we both know where that is. I don't know where it is, but <laughs> we're supposed to know where that is now. But we, you know, it's, it's really interesting because you're, you're finally, you're living your life. You know, I yeah. think we're always, we look ahead and think about what's going to be next, where am I going to be, and forget to enjoy the life that's all around you. And when I stopped thinking about where I'm going to be tomorrow and started really loving my life today, mm. Mm is when everything took off, and that's when I had work constantly trying to wow. pull me away from this I great life. I love this message. That, that's yes. amazing. You know what? Yeah, yes. I, want, I want to hear that because I think a that rich people life in our equals rich work. Yeah, you know? I you, love this. You know, as that. as actors, and and they always tell you try to be present when you're performing. But uh, people in this industry, in entertainment and the media, you, you know, even the next, they're, they're always yeah. living in the future and sometimes emotionally in the past, but they're hardly in the present in their real life. Very true. And true. you're saying that this helped. Go ahead. You, right. they, no, but you've been in this town for a while, right? right? And you know that what did it used to be like when the cameras weren't rolling? We'd sit and we'd talk, right. but now the cameras aren't rolling and everybody's like this, right. you know? And what it is is when you're out there to work, it's all about connection. What are you talking and about? And if I'm not looking me. you in the eyes and I don't yeah. see your reaction to what I'm saying, then I don't know how to say the next thing I'm trying to convince you of. And so if you're not connecting with the person, then, you know, it makes it yeah, kind of hard to then act with Yeah, we need to to connect. Exactly. But what you said about, about being present and stuff, also I think, um, in your case, it's not only the married life, but children kind of like drag you back oh to gosh. being in the moment. There's no way to think it's like you kind of like, they keep you in the moment They're not thinking the about later. They're not right. thinking about before. They're right they got poop they're, now. Right, exactly. <laughs> and they do. <laughs> but it's a great message for all the, you know, the actors that are out there, you know, making it in this town to do that, what you just said, like live in the moment, enjoy your life now, and then everything just, else. There's, there's too much focus for, for yesterday. I mean, for, to, you know, yesterday, there's too much focus on that, and then too much focus on where I'm going to be, and it's really great right now. Oh, oh my God. Well, Congratulations. Thank you so much for joining us.